Yeah, I was living in Paris after I made Marie Antoinette. I was maybe a little homesick and thinking about California. And I didn't grow up here, but I lived in L.A. in my 20s. And I was just thinking I love those real iconic L.A. movies from, from the past. And I, and I wanted to try to make something that captures today's L.A. And I just, I'm interested in stories where the characters change from more of an internal realization as opposed to that they're taken hostage or there's a disaster. Or, you know, I feel like in life there can be little things that sound like no big deal that, that really mo motivate you to change and, and notice things about yourself. And I think I think the characters are a little different. I think uh, Sophia didn't want me to be Steven in the movie, you know. If anything, she wanted to change certain things about me and bring them into Johnny, you know. So it was kind of about incorporating what I do know, There's the similarities of being a film actor and the life and the, the ups, the downs, the loneliness, the kind of full-on attention, and then the phone doesn't ring when the junk gets over, when the movie's over. And... Um, I go to regular school and hang out with friends. I just sort of, I do the normal thing, but I'm also in movies as well, so it balances out perfectly. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Hey, Cleo.